Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, September 22nd, we'll talk about the fourth book in the New Testament, the fourth gospel, John's gospel. In this uh, book, Jesus is presented as the Son of God who was born with complete divinity. In Luke, he was presented as a person with uh, complete humanity. Actually, in all these uh, four Gospels, there might be several things in common, but the perspective of each Gospel writer is different. So, if, when you want to understand Jesus and his ministry, you have to read all the four Gospels. Uh, John 20, 31 says, These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. The above verse reveals John's aim in writing this gospel. Just as a coin has two sides, both valid, so Jesus Christ has two natures, both valid. Luke presents Christ in his humanity as the Son of Man, while John portrays him in his deity as the Son of God. John's purpose is crystal clear, to set forth Christ in his deity in order to spark believing faith in his readers. John's gospel is topical, not primarily chronological, and it revolves around seven miracles and seven I am statements of Christ, which is the sole feature of John, special feature of John. The gospel of John is a gospel apart. Matthew, Mark and Luke are called the synoptic gospels because despite their individual emphasis, they describe many of the same events in the life of Jesus of Nazareth. John draws mainly upon events and discourses not found in other Gospels to prove to his readers that Jesus is God in the flesh, the eternal word come to earth, born to die as God's sacrifice for human sin. The seven miracles, which are also called signs, prove that Jesus is the Christ the Son of God, and that, believing, you may have life in his name. No finer gospel tract has ever been penned than John's inspired account of Christ's life, death, and resurrection. It's a universal gospel. John divides the ministry of Jesus into two distinct parts. Two to twelve chapters give insight into his public ministry, while 13 to 21 relate to his private ministry to his disciples. He presents Jesus as the only begotten Son of God who, beca who came, became flesh. For John, Jesus' humanity meant a twofold mission. First is as the Lamb of God, 129 John the Baptist says, who procured the redemption of mankind. Second is through his life and ministry, he revealed the Father, whom nobody saw. John 3.16 is without doubt the most quoted and preached in all the scripture. Captured in it is the gospel in its clearest and simplest form. Though most of us know it by heart, let's read it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is the gospel. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us through the gospel of John that you are the Son of God. Please help us to realize it and preach and bring others also to you. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.